So, as you know, I'm a bit of a specialist in the Dancing Hands watches. I, I'm, and we're going to have a preview of an upcoming video this week. As you know, I, I've got this lovely Pulsar V691 Dancing Hands on the two-tone bracelet. It's beautiful, that is. So, let's have a ch chat to his rare big brother. This is a Pulsar V693 7000. It is the rarer version of the Seiko 8M35. I've had to put it onto this because uh, it's the only gold, because it's a two-tone um, thing. <laughs> I've had to like, put it on this because... Um, well, literally, like this thing fell apart, like the original bracelet, like. So I'm just making sure I'm not getting jumped on by cats. So, and what this is is a yacht timer. Now I don't know if you can see there. There's like um, there's like a gauge at the top. And that's your 15 minute timers for making you know when you're in a yacht race. It's to making um. Uh, like you know, like you know, five minutes, ten minutes, you sail for so long for five minutes, you sail so long for ten minutes, you sail something, you know. So, like, or you can actually set it to anything from an hour countdown, and it's controlled by the crown, like the V691, except it doesn't have the little nub on it. And this should be the timer. Here we go. And it's gone to the. It's, it's um. I can't remember. Where I've got it set up. This is this is the user program timer. You press the top one. And as you can see, the minute hand is working its way around, and that will go all the way around. The hour one will go all the way around when it gets to um, the twelfth position. It signals it goes beep 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 like you know press that reset bish bash bosh so put it back onto time now this is the um, five minute one if I remember rightly But this time around, the hour hand moves closer to the 12. That's to signify. And resets. That's the next one along. But this time, I don't, I don't know if you can see, the hour hand is actually corresponding to like certain things on there. And there's the third one. 15. As you can see, 15 to 12. And it will sit there and slowly, like, you know, it will count down. And when it gets to, like, you know, both hands are at 12, it will, like, you know, make a beep and stop. It's got a match mode. A match mode on the Dancing Hands watch is what they call a demo mode. As you can see, I've got it set to... Um, I can't remember. It's actually set at 12 on this one. It's the, it's, this is the only one Dancing Hands watch apart from the other one that actually does work. And then you put it back onto time. It's got a nice Seiko click sort of thing. That's not time. That's user timer. I beg its pardon. And there we go. Set it back to time, which is one minute past eight. Yeah, that's correct. I haven't, un I suspect this bezel is a clicky bezel, but it seems a bit stuck. So I'm going to soak it on some IPA. So yeah, this 691, I don't know if you can see, uh, it's very hard to see it, but it's actually got quite a scratched crystal, whereas this one's got a very clean crystal. Uh, you know, and these have been um, 
like the 8M35 versions of this, I mean, there's one for $450, and there's another one for $1,000. Like, you know, so these are really, really, you know, sought after. Let's have a wrist shot. I don't like this bracelet, but until I get something sorted out for it, I might even get a handmade one for it. And there you go. Obviously, when you're wearing it, you don't do the, the functions. Although, I should imagine that when you, if you're um, a left-handed watch wearer, you could probably do it, like, you know, what's it, you know, just, like, twiddle it, like, you know. But I'm a righty, I'm afraid, so... Oh, I, I like it. I like these dancing hand watches, I, you know... I mean, this one's a lovely one. I love this one as well. Oh, yeah. See, there she goes. Yeah, roundy round. No, nope. said it to the wrong thing. Oh, no, I haven't. Oh, I know what I've done. See, there's a the stopwatch on that one. Nope. Oh, I've crashed it, I think. No, I haven't. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I do believe I've crashed. Oh, there it goes. Right. A slightly different operation on this one because the second hand goes round. When it gets round to a full minute, that then becomes a minute counter. But it still tells you the normal time. And there you go. Two very, very rare... Dancing hand watches made by Seiko. There we go. And there we are. Very good timekeepers. I, you know, I, I will get round to sorting out the V600s, like, you know, because they're not working. So, what else have we had in the post? Uh, I'm going to give you a sneak preview on this one because I'm, I'm going to do a polish video on this one. I'm just waiting for um, what's it, a new bag of uh, felt mops to turn up. Uh, there you go. That is a slather fridge badged under the American brand Cornavin. That is a bloody big. I'm not going to go into any more details, but like, you know, that's a, that's a 40 by 50 millimetre case, that is. Like, you know, it is, you can see, that's nearly as wide as my fingers. Like, you know, that is a big bugger. Twin mainspring, it's the business. Well, we shall go into that one another, another time. And I, I should imagine you've probably been like, wondering what this is here. For quite a good bit of money... Uh, not, I mean, like a good as in like cheap. I bought a bag of bracelets. Casio, 18 mil. There's loads in here, right, you know. That's another Casio, I do believe. No, that's not. It's an unbranded um, one that needs to be cleaned. Right. I mean, you know. That one's a bit, a bit more narrow. You know, I mean, look, uh, a one-pass, a one pass like, um, mesh, which I think is quite, you know, a one-pass is where it goes through, like, um, like, through the actual spring bars, like, in one pass. It's like a NATO, but without the extra loop. Well, you know, it's absolutely, you know, I won't go into all of it, like, you know, but it's absolutely, oh. I didn't realise I had that. Uh -huh. I think I might have found the new watch bracelet. I had never spotted that. Look at that. Two-tone. It's a two-tone bamboo. Now, these are funny, these things are. Because they, they pop in. There's like a clip. And you just pop them in. Right. Pop them into the ladder. And it's it's locked. Aha, right, well, that's going on the V693 later on. So, like, you know, I mean, um, this thing here, this uh, Polger Automatic, which I haven't got a bracelet for, works beautifully, keeps absolutely spotless time. 
this lather met its demise through the black goo of Soviet watch death, which is a shame. But I might be able to get some parts off of it, and it is like a very, very desirable. This is a slab of fitness. This was this was like you know the equivalent of like you know like in the eighties like a Soviet version of like all the old Casios and stuff like that. It is a quartz, but it's absolutely like you know it's it's dead. Like, you know, like the battery acid has literally devoured all the the what's it the soft copper in there. Um, what else is there? I'm leaving this alone. It's never been touched. Still in the box. Still in the box. Still got his plastics on it. I'm just going to leave that be. Casio works beautifully. Right, it's a bit grubby on there, like you know. But I mean, you know, I mean, it's a it's a beta watch. Right. I'm quite happy with that. Now, where's um, where is that? Oh yeah, there you are. How about that? Original first generation LCD National Semiconductor works perfectly, absolutely perfectly. Although it's a bit, it's a bit out of time. You set it using the little nub there. How about that? Like, I got out in that job lot, like you know, and I mean, you know, it was the it was the job lot that just kept giving, you know. I mean, yeah, okay, like this one's dead, like you know, but like you know, these like you know, I mean, no, that didn't come with it. Sorry. Um, I said, like you know, I've got those two there. Um, I've got that one there, and what else did I get from that little job lot? Oh yeah, that was in it. This is a bit fiddly. This is like this is Soviet seconda, like um, UFO. It's a bit fiddly. Like it sometimes, like for no reason, it just stops. It it's got a very good time graph on it, but it's, there's something in it that just makes it to stall. So I'm going to look into that. I'm going to give a bit of oil on it. Um, there was another one. But where is it? Where is it? Where is it? No, it's not that one. I've just dropped something. Um, uh, I've lost it. Like you know, I've lost. I've lost where it is. So. <coughs> As you can see, like, you know, it's all been happening, like, you know, I have been trying to catalogue it all, but unfortunately, I keep getting stuff in, but I've only got one more to come. So, let's go up to the up view and we'll take it from there. Stop you stupid phone. <laughs>